Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back again today with episode 11 of Football Manager 2015 as Real Oviedo. In this episode we've got games against Albacete and Real Valladolid, or just Valladolid, I'm not sure, I thought it was Real Valladolid, but apparently not. In the last episode we unfortunately lost to Almeria, it Two draws were on the cards, but Almeria were just too good for us. The reason, obviously, I can see, um, you've probably noticed that the game against Alba City is on the 22nd and today is only the 19th. That's because we've got another job interview from Dundee United. Obviously, like I said, I'm not going to take the job, but I am going to attend the interview just because it is quite interesting. So, oh well, no, we're glad you've come along to discuss our plans for the club's vision should we decide to hire you. Let's get down to business. I've not been in the managerial game for that long. Why have you largely been unable to meet expectations and competitions across the board? Um, yeah, I would set expectations that are entirely unrealistic. To me, a certain malaise has... Malaise? I presume that's pronounced malaise. Seems to have crept into your squad and the players don't look happy. Why have you allowed that to happen? Um, I wish to apportion blame. Still getting results on the pitch. What? No, we're not. That's a complete lie. I think there's a much stronger dressing room here. Unless the players are lying to me, I don't believe things are as bad as most people think. Club, we're looking for a cap candidate capable of performing to our expected standards across multiple competitions. Are you confident in handling that better than our previous manager? Um. Yeah, let's go to the top one. Can you tell me why you're the right candidate for a team fighting relegation? And probably not, realistically. Uh, I have the managerial acumen to get the required results. Let's go with that. Any philosophies? No philosophies. If I had for a top half finish, I'd probably challenge for Euro Cup qualification. Let's roll with that. Transfer budget? I'll just say it's realistic. Happy to work with the proposed, pro, proposed wage budget. Have any requests for us to consider should we decide to hire you? Um, theater club or a parent? Potentially a parent club? Fair request. Yeah, okay, I have no further requests. Okay, that's been done. Interview with Dundee United. I'll be back with you guys once we either... Well, actually, no, I'll be back with you guys just before the uh, game against Alba City, who are actually in 20th, so... They're not really doing that well alongside ourselves, but again, another vital win. I'll be back with you guys just before that game. Okay, guys, here we are just before the game against Alba City. Now, this is a vital game for us for one specific reason. Cadiz, who are currently three points above us, one place above us, are playing Lugo, who are top of the table. So we can probably safely presume Cadiz aren't going to get a result there, and we're only playing Albacete, who are only two places above us. So if we can get a result against Albacete, that'll put us level on points with Cadiz, and we'll finally enter the double digits for points. So it's absolutely crucial that we just narrow that gap between uh, bottom and 21st. But anyway, let's go into the game. Now, as you can see, just by looking at this screen here, I've made quite a few changes. Because Alba City are, have gone seven games now without a win and we started to play a little bit better. Our form has started to improve a little bit. So I figured we'd be best off playing attacking. We're at home. Alba City aren't in good form. Our form's improving. Let's change it up and play attacking. This could come back and just... I could be shooting myself in the foot here. But I'm hoping this is what's going to work. So we've got Esteban in goal, back for Calderon, Sergio Fernandes and Bautista. None of that has changed from the previous game. Then we've got Sosaita playing the box-to-box -box midfielder role. We've got Generilo playing as a deep-line playmaker and E. Rice as the ball-winning midfielder because he usually plays as a defensive mid. His defensive stats are pretty impressive. We've got Sene playing Enganche. Ardenas playing as the advanced forward, and then we've got Davies playing the poacher role. I really want Davies to get a goal to get his confidence up because we need him to fill in in place of Severo because Severo's out for five to seven weeks. That's a long time. He's gonna Severo's gonna miss Albacete Valladolid. He's gonna miss probably all the way up to about Lugo until Zaragoza. So we don't have him for a while, basically. 
So we need Davies or Ardenas or Omoigui to step in, but I'm hoping it can be Davies. But nevertheless, let's jump straight in. Actually, just the instructions as well. More direct passing, because that tends to be better for us. Exploit the middle, because we don't actually have anyone on the wings. Drop deeper to prevent them from getting in behind us. Then we've got a higher tempo, because we're going to look to get it about in an urgent fashion, just to unsettle the opposition and be more disciplined, basically, to just retain our form and not to... Uh, let players roam from position too much but anyway let's proceed to the match and see how this goes we're favorites for this according to Kim Yoon Suk they reckon we'll just about edge this one four to five favorites draw two to one and what are the odds for Albacete three to one right okay let's see it continue Sene is set to make his 100th league appearance Hope he marks the occasion with a top performance. Fingers crossed, eh? Let's listen to Lopez. I reckon focusing on Chumby is the best idea. That's fine. And let's go. I expect nothing but a win. Good response from Esteban. Okay. I have faith in you. There we go. That's better from the attack. Everyone but Sene in the midfield. And everyone in the defence. Fantastic. Let's go, baby playing in blue and white against their all white let's see how this goes I'm got it on standard just for the sole reason I don't know how they're gonna play whatsoever I'll change it probably after 15 20 minutes just seeing how they actually play Erice is on the ball he's played it across to Generilo played it to Sene to Baltista on the wing played it back into Erice playing it slow for now Generilo to Sene across to Davies Davies is looking for the pass, he's played it back to Generilo, who's looking to feed the ball through to Ardenas. Ardenas has turned, he's been brought down, it's a penalty! That was an awful challenge. Who's taking this? Sene, oh Sene's taking it, I thought Sosaita would be. Sene with the penalty, he's buried it, straight down the middle, fantastic. Sent the keeper the wrong way, five minutes, we're 1-0 up. Good start. It was a penalty, but a goal is a goal. Make the changes to Mark Samu a bit better. Well, they're on the attack. Good challenge there. Can we try and obtain and or retain possession? That just went wide. Okay, let's make those team changes. Generilo to Sosaita. To Generilo. To Sene. Sene! Been parried by the keeper. Kept on by Fran Garcia, though. Hoofed it outwards. Sergio's got the ball. The highlight has ended. I also found out something new as well. When you get a any advice over on the top right from one of your staff, if you hover over the Make Changes button, it tells you actually what it's going to do. You can learn something new every day with this game. I did not know that was a feature before, but definitely going to make sure to do it this time so I don't cock up my instructions completely. So the one that I just clicked was to work the ball into the box. I don't think there are any more that I can show now. Good challenge from e Rice. He's played it back to Generilo. Across to Sosaito, who's hoofed it forward. Craig Davies, Ardenas, he's... Oh, offside and he hit the post. God damn. Approaching the half an hour mark now. Samu's on the ball, he's played it to Chumbi. Back to Samu, who's hoofed it across. Big save from Esteban, but it was offside anyway. Davies still isn't playing well. There we go. That, that would add, t oh, add a lot of team instructions, that one would. That would float crosses, pump ball into box, hit early crosses. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. Fine. Sene, Sosaita. Back heel to Sene. Oh, it's been cleared. Sergio's played it all the way back to Esteban in goal. Esteban's just holding on to the ball. Playing down the clock in the 40th minute is an interesting tactic. He's played through to Davies to Ardenas. He's hit the fucking post again. God damn. Davies still not playing particularly well. Oh, it's been buried by Samu. God damn. <sighs> I really didn't think... I was really hoping they wouldn't get a goal before half-time. We haven't been playing badly. Bautista's not playing particularly well, though. One all, though. Um, keep playing the way you have been, the result will come. I completely forgot to change to control or something like that. Um... Bautista can come off then for Vila and move Sergio over to the left. And then Davies is going to have to come off for Amoigui. I can't risk it. Does Amoigui play well as a poacher? 
Not particularly, actually. How about Ardnaz as a poacher if I just switch them around? Amoigui does play well as an advanced forward. Ardnaz plays okay as a poacher. Let's roll with that. And let's change this to... Control. There we go. Check the instructions as well. Let's put the middle drop deeper. Yeah, okay. Let's start the second half. Let's go. They've got a free kick to kick things off, but Sergio's the same possession. They can get it past the first man. He rides to Sergio, to Soseto, who's looking for the ball through to Omoigui. It's on the right-hand side there. It's played all the way across. Couldn't reach Ardenas, though. He rises on it, played it to Sene. Back to Generilo. Look for the pass to Omoigui. To Ardenas. Oh, he's been challenged. Cleared again. They still retain possession somehow. He rides to Generilo. To Sene. Back to Generilo. Sosaita's had a bash over the goal. <sighs> Should have held on to it and tried to thread it through. Our mark has been and gone. Got another free kick. Vila to Generilo. To Sene. To E Rice. Across to Sergio. Played it back to E Rice. To Generilo. Sene's played through Ardenas. Big save from the Albacete keeper there, Alberto. Pushes 70th minute at this point. Still one all. Albacete have obtained possession from the goal kick from Esteban. Don't really know what changes to make. Might stick it on attacking if we hit the 80th minute and no goal. Come on, that's... Oh, how do you, on earth do you not get the ball? That big save from Esteban, that was vital. They've got a corner though. Esteban, come out and claim this. Control your box. Uh, clearance from Vila, okay. Hmm. Ardenas played through Sene. Look to Sosaita. Sosaita's still on the ball. He's played it across to Generilo. He's played all the way back to Sergio. E Rice to Generilo to Sergio. Sergio with the cross. Oh, oh I thought he'd have gone in. What on earth? How on earth did he miss that? Okay. Oh my god, Esteban. Jesus. That was a little bit risky to say the least. I'm ready to pause it to change our tactics. Oh, big save from Esteban. Good lord. Come on, just don't concede here. Indiana with the cross. Big clearance from Erice. Okay, 80th minute's been and gone. Pause. Attacking and then fluid. Check our tactics. No one's playing particularly badly. Amoigui's not playing great. I'm trying to think who I could possibly bring off. Maybe E Rice? Or Susanita I'd be more tempted to bring off for someone like Salvador. And then bring Salvador forward. If I do that. Playing very much down the middle. This could be an absolutely awful idea. But we need more attacking. If we're going to get anything from this game. Instructions. Exploit the middle. Play narrower. Actually no. Let's not put on play narrower. And let's get rid of pump the ball into the box. Let's get rid of that as well. Let's run at the defence. Let's go with that. Okay. Confirm changes. This could all go tits up. Exploring new territory here. Approaching the 90th minute now. Not much has happened. Make changes to Mark Chumby. It's gotten the 93rd minute. That's full time one all. Changes didn't do anything. Didn't get the result we were after. But a point is better than no points. And we've been getting a lot of no points recently. But we should have won that. Cadiz did lose to Lugo like I predicted. Only 3-2 though. Would have expected it to be more of a landslide. Hmm. And saying that if we didn't get the penalty we'd have been fucked in that game. Maybe I made a bit of a tactical blunder. I'm not sure. But nevertheless I'll be back with you guys just before we play Valladolid. Alrighty guys, I'm back just before the game against Valadol, the final game of the episode, who are currently sat in 16th. So, 
we've got the opportunity to get a good result here. It would be relatively important. We've got a game in hand over Cadiz at this point. They also lost their latest game, so we could actually go above them, provided we achieve a result here. So let's get into the tactic I'm using. I feel like I fucked up on the last game. I took Albacete's form for granted and assumed that we would be able to outplay them. We didn't. It finished one all. Could have finished higher. We hit the woodwork three times, but at the end of the day, it was only one point. So for this, we're going to be playing back to this defensive 4-2-2-2 strategy. We've got Esteban at the back, Calderon, Sergio, Fernandez, and Samuel Camille is back from his injury. Finally, that makes me very happy. He is better than Bautista. Let's hope he can play that way. We've got Jenneri Loaniris at the defensive midfielder roles. We've got Sussanita on the right and Eco on the left. Arnaz up front along with Amoyegui. Taking Davies off because he is just not performing at all. And it hurts and pains me inside. So, we're running with a counter mentality. Not defensive, purely because we're at home. And Valladolid are only in 16th. I'm hoping that we can... Don't have to play out defensively as usual. We've got more direct passing on, get stuck in, be more disciplined, much deeper defensive line, then hit early crosses and float the crosses in. That's what we're going to be running with. It was defensive positioning for the match training. I don't think there's anything here that I'm missing. Oh, that is something I'm missing. Magnus Elia can finally go back on the bench, just in case there's a small chance we need him. Let's do that. Submit the team and let's go. We're somehow still favourites for this game, even though we are in... That awful, awful form. Valladolid. Wow, there's a... Uh, from 19th to... There's really a small point gap. Like, there's a huge point gap from me. There's eight points between us and Albacete in 19th. But from Albacete to... But eight points from Albacete would get you all the way up to four. Well, fifth or fourth. That's a bit ridiculous. Oh, well, continue. You decided to decision to drop Jonathan Villa. Why has that caused a bit of a stir? He has not been at his best lately. Continue to opposition instructions. Joshua Lopez. Focus on Oscar and Alejandro Alfaro. They're playing with five in the middle. It's an interesting interesting formation. Okay. Continue to the team talk. Tell the team this one's for the fans. Let's go with just I'm expecting you to win. We went with that last time. Esteban was the only one that reacted last time. Okay, only a good response from Arden. That was no good response from Omoigui. And Nico didn't respond well there. Neither did Camille. Interesting. Anyway, let's go. Playing. That's an interesting kit colour. It's like a dark green or a dark bluey green. I don't know. Against our blue and white. Anyway, we are at home. Let's hope we can play like it. With the support of our home fans, because there's quite a lot of them. Big clearance there from David Fernandez. Looks like we're going to be sat waiting for us to just get a break, to be honest. I reckon they're probably going to have a lot of attacks. A massive sliding challenge there from David Fernandez. A little bit risky. Big challenge from Camille. I have got the get stuck in instruction on, and so far it seems to be working. That was a very close long shot. We've got a free kick. Sosaita, he's whipped it. He's gone over again. Don't seem to score that many free kicks. When we do, though, it does tend to be Sosaita that puts them away. Alfaro has gone through on goal. We should encourage our players to try and play short passing. No, see, I disagree with that. I'm not going to do that. Need to keep it on more direct. Big deflection there. Generilo with the clearance. He's gone all the way to Amoigui. He's picked it up on the touchline. Who's just passed it in. It's been intercepted by a Valadolid player. Valadolid have been superior in the air. Okay. Ah, they've scored fucking cockballs. Ah... Okay, we're 1-0 down. Let's continue. I don't really want to change much right now. I don't know what I could change. Oh my he's been brought down in the opposition half. The half way mark. Not time-wise, pitch-wise. Only 20 minutes gone. No, okay, something needs to change. Something has to change literally right now. I don't know what though. Should we go on attacking? I figured I wasn't. I wouldn't expect us to concede two right off the bat against them. I uh, let's try with. Let's try and go attacking instead. Stick on flexible rather than structured. 
It's an ambitious shot right there. We've injured their star striker though. Okay. Unfortunately, they're already 2-0 up. They've got a free kick now. It's gone wide. Half time. It's not been good enough in the slightest. That's an awful showing so far. Only good performance, well, only average performances from E Rice, Esteban, and arguably Generilo. What do I do? Take off Sergio Favila. I reckon would be step number one. Take off Eniko for Salvador for step number two. Yeah, okay. And then instructions. Whip crosses. Just drop deeper, higher. Let's go much higher tempo. Get stuck in. Look for overlap, I suppose, as well. That'd be quite big. Let's roll with that. I'm going to stick on fluid as well. Generilo has picked up a knock. They've got a corner. Esteban's gathered it up, though. Remove team instruction, get stuck in. I disagree, really. Committed fouls, but I'm probably going to end up hating myself for that when we end up conceding the inevitable penalty. Now I've said that, but big challenge there for me, right? It's still fallen to them. Generilo the injured and might have to use our final sub on him. Potentially. Ambitious shot. Camille's not playing well though. Come back from injury, he's not playing well at all. Mm. I did end up promising Oscar Rubio that I'd end up giving him a run of games because he was unhappy with the amount of first team football he was getting, so I might bring him on for Camille. E Rice has just been challenged in the middle of the park. Ugh. Camille's missed the slide tackle. Salvador's picked it up, yes, he's played it, it's all the way to Amoigui, Amoigui on the counter attack, what the fuck was that? I'm lost for words, why, oh my god. Okay, let's pause. Let's take off Camille for Rubio. And I don't know what else to do, really. Amoigui's not playing well, but I can't bring him off. What I could do, though, actually, is if I click on Amoigui and go instructions, shoot less often, hold up ball. Let's run with that. Yeah, let's run with that. Hopefully, that'll mean Ardenaz can play it to him, then make the run, and Amoigui can... Oh. Some guys are coming on for somebody. Not sure where they're... Not sure where they're running off to. Anyway, we've got a throw in. At some point soon. Maybe today. Hopefully. That's really weird looking at the crowd, because just loads of their animations are just mirrored. Like they're all in sync. looks really really strange oh there we go next highlight fantastic that finally uh, did something they've got a cross oh big save from Esteban there how on earth he got across to that I don't know I think we got to go overload at this point we're 2-0 down in the 81st minute oh they've just hit the bar okay can we get anything from this game? Probably not. At this point. Big challenge from Amoigui though. He's played it to Ardenas. He's going to off it to Calderon. Calderon's hurtling down the wing. He's played it inside to Ardenas. Played it to Sosaita. To Calderon. Who's whipped it across. He's put it over. And then Sosaita's just lost possession. Big challenge from e to Generilo. To Sosaita. We're still not out of this just yet. Sosaita to Calderon. Oh, I thought he ran back onside. Come on, ref. Could have sworn he ended up being onside. Oh, that wasn't a bad free kick. Just past the post. Sosaita with the free kick, though. Nope. Been headed away by the first man. 
And that's full time, 2 0. Good performance from Erice. Happy with his performance. Rubio and Vila didn't play badly. Salvador did. Camille did. Sergio did. Aniko did. Omoigui did. And unfortunately, it resulted in a 2 0 loss. Very, very wary about losing my job. Interesting. Anyway. Looks like that's the end of that episode. Omoigui vows to end goal drought. Does he really, though? He's 10 matches without finding the net. He did really well at the start of the season. Well, in our preseason friendlies as well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the disappointing end to that episode. Next episode, we have got Mercia and then Leganes. And then, oh, that was something else I completely forgot to mention, actually. Um, may as well mention it now. Got a friendly with Atletico Madrid in the dead area between the 20th of December and the start of January. Atletico challenged us to another another uh, friendly, so we've got that to look forward to as well in our current form. That'll be interesting. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye for now. It's a top-down vehicular combat game where the goal is to eliminate all the other racers by picking up various power-ups or ramming them off the screen with the aim to be the last vehicle standing. Different game modes means different goals, however, with one game mode title Knockout rewarding you with a point for every race you take out, whereas Survival does what it says on the tin, do all you can to survive for maximum points. A lot more game modes are planned for the final release, so keep an eye on the Kickstarter for more information on those. The power-ups feel balanced, obviously some of them are better than others, but they all have their strong points.